on Austin Creed here. I am at PAX East. We got a bunch of the G4 crew also at PAX East. And I've been lucky enough to be given the opportunity to be up on the catwalk. So we are above all of PAX. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sick though, for real. It's good. I've been going to PAX for a long time. Uh, when I first started out as a freelance video game writer, I attended the first PAX Oz, which was awesome. It was so cool to be there in person, and I used it for like networking so I could meet people and try and get more work. And now it is 2022, and I've just done the uh, keynote for PAX, which is a wild ride to start out as, you know, a struggling freelance writer trying to meet people at PAX, then IGN, which is one of the biggest gaming media outlets in the world, you know, being flown to different events to being asked to do the keynote to open PAX East is wild. Um, but I think it really shows the value of PAX. It's been a staple of my career and I'm so stoked to be here again. An amazing perk of coming to PAX is just all the, the cool connections you can forge here. Just the energy was just so good and, and watching people come and get excited about your game, there's nothing like it. So Shoulders of Giants is a 3D action roguelike where you simultaneously control two characters, a sharpshooting space frog and their robot best friend. So as a small studio, we really love taking our games to PAX, not just for marketing, but literally just to watch people play. It's amazing having this huge diverse crowd who all love video games, but all have different video games and all love them different ways. Just interact with your game. You. There's literally no better playtesting. At least that, that's sort of what I personally really love about it. And then obviously meeting people here at PAX is amazing. Uh, my name is Sam Winkler. I'm a senior writer at Gearbox Software as a lead writer on uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. And we're here at PAX East 2022. It's a convention like by fan for fans. <laughs> my, okay, my, my wild journey. Yeah, so uh, I have actually been an enforcer at PAX since uh, 2012. I kind of, I've worked in the main theater for that entire decade and ended up becoming the manager of the front of house. So I spent uh, many years loading in gearbox panels. 3,000 people fit in this room and uh, it has capped out a few times. So it's very strange to suddenly be on stage for some of these. <laughs> it's the vibe. It is this melting pot of developers and fans and people with new exciting things to show or people who just wanted to attend to see a panel from their favorite content creator. Uh, I am Sungwon Cho, also known as ProZD. I actually came here as a fan like nine years ago. Uh, so to be asked to come as an official guest uh, is, a, is a pretty cool uh, full circle, surreal kind of thing. So it was my pleasure to come out here. I think what we love most about the game is the fact that it's about this large cultural movement we're all very involved in. People working 12 hours, six days a week is what you're fighting against in the game and is what we're fighting against in the industry a lot of the times, especially with gaming. Going through the subway station, you'll uh, continually go from the back to the front of a train, fighting two bosses along the way, and eventually meeting Tamamo every time, the main villain, voice acted by Kevin Miller, the voice of Sly Cooper. It was just, it's, I, that's what I love about PAX, is I get a chance to talk to all of these people who made yeah. all this amazing stuff, and like, you either see them, uh, you see like the creators watching people enjoy their games, and oh, you yeah. just see it in their eyes, and like, that's why I love PAX so much. <laughs> Okay, so Domen is a Souls-like game with a lot of inspirations in uh, games like Dark Souls, Dead Space, Mass Effect, Bloodborne. PAX is an awesome event. Everyone is, is here as well. Always been good to us. We have been in PAX before, like in 2018. Uh, we have showed Domen in a really previous stage and it was really good to be back over here and to bring the game over here and see uh, people playing and enjoying, have fun. It's this ability to walk down a hallway and see someone that you follow on Twitter or whose YouTube shows that you, uh, you like. It's just the chance to see so many people who share the same love that you do. It's a convention like by fans for fans and that's why people come back. <laughs> 